Hello, we have another review today. We have the Newbie Drone Hummingbird. Um, did some research and it's starting to be pretty cold outside right now and now it's whoop season. So, figured this might be the next best thing to upgrade for my Blade and Ductrix. Um, I heard good reviews on it. There's not a whole lot of videos on it, that's why I'm going to make this review. So then you guys can kind of see what to expect if you do get one and you open the box and... Well, that's what it is. So, here we are. We have received a package today from Race Day Quads. I got a variety of prop choices um, for this. Got a battery. I have no idea if it's charged, but we're going to use that for programming. And let's open the box. I have not set this up in my radio yet, so don't know what to uh, expect. There it is. I got the Spectrum version here. Um, looks like it's running a props out config. That's pretty nice. Nice simple design. I don't. I don't know if I like that. That's just like a. That's like a clip-in setup there. I don't know. We'll see how it holds up. I guess it is just indoor quad. So, it's got the PH 2.0 power connector for higher current. Oh, look at that board. Dang. Keep messing up the camera angle here. But yeah, there's what it looks like. Looks like I got the Venom props. I actually ordered some more of those, too. I was going to try them on the Inductrix as well. But yeah, I mean, I got a, I got a model all set up in the, in the uh, DX9 ready to go. I'm going to bind it up, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so you got to hold the button while plugging the power, and you get a flashing light to bind it. There we go. So that's what it does. It lights up green, I guess, when you're when you're bound. So there's that. I have no idea what switches are assigned to what. So I guess you do that in the OSD. So let's turn on the goggles and figure out uh, the settings. All right, we're in the VTX here and OSD. So there's VTX. Let's switch it over to race band here. So it comes to one fat chart. Don't know why. There we go. Race band one. It's usually what I run. Exit out of that. And then I didn't really know what else to go into, so I just explored all the menu options, I believe. Nope, went into that. That is basically just endpoints. You can see your stick movements. Um, it's kind of like looking at your receiver tab in beta flight. So I was screwing around in there because my roll and my yaw were backwards, and I could tell in there. And confirm that, and I should have swapped it over my remote before I kept doing all this crap. But I'm sure I get out of there pretty quick. Yep, there we go. And uh, into the I think the OSD menu, which gives you yes, it gives you your position on your screen for your name and your apparently volume uh, <laughs> and flight control settings. I believe that's the one we want to be into to uh, assign your switches. So I eventually figure out to click into that and then I watched a video on newbie drones YouTube page and he basically just had level mode all the way on so that's basically what I did and from the factory it doesn't even give you race mode or horizon I'm thinking race mode is acro and obviously horizon gives you the angle and acro feel but I'm just gonna use it as a, a level or a angle mode racer good for the house yeah and then you just please save an exit and you're pretty much done and I kept going back into the VTX so what the VTX does it continues to switch back to previous setting so you have to set it and then go to save an exit right away and then now it's changing over to race band one I go into my settings on my rapid fire and change it over to race band Span one, exit out of that, and I should have it. And there we are. That's how you do that. All right, so here's the first battery. Uh, kids eating lunch. I think one of them's running around. It was a, <laughs> it was a bit. Um, I think it, it was a bit twitchy for my taste. I normally run Expo in my remote, but I did not have it set up. I just had it 100%. Ooh, a kid got me. Nice. 
that's what we do around the house. We try to play keep away and he tries to hit the drone out of the sky. But anyways, I run 100% uh, on the remote. I didn't change anything and then I had it 0% expo just to see what it was like. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty aggressive right out of the box like if you just leave everything normal. Um, compared to the Inductrix, this has just way more like throw. So I was experiencing that, just getting used to it. I was really starting to do real small stick movements. As you can see, I'm smoothing out a little bit here, getting used to that. But I like to bang the sticks around. So eventually, I upgrade the upgrade the uh, expo or bring the expo up. Nice. That's fun playing with the kids. <laughs> first time he's using the gun though, he usually has a blanket, and then we chase around that way. But yeah, we have a good time at home. Oh, <laughs> almost got him. <laughs> and there I go down. I think I get out of here, yep. Boom. The other one's still eating lunch there. Yeah, this thing, honestly, it's just crazy how much better it handled than the Inductrix Pro with stock tune and everything. Um, immediately impressed way smoother flight I was able to really just yank the sticks around and fly exactly where I wanted to fly um, has way better yaw authority way better banking authority and the speed is better as well so honestly I was super impressed first flight first pack um, yeah honestly it was really it was really a great experience out of the box this is truly a bind and fly unit and you can fly it on stock rates just fine as long as you're real sensitive on the sticks but you can always add expo in your remote people don't realize that in beta flight you have that option to add that within the menu option but I feel you don't need it Wow first battery pack was awesome um, it definitely feels yeah there it went Popped right out, so I'm thinking maybe just a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue to fix that. But yeah, honestly, this thing flies excellent, absolutely awesome. Um, the kid likes to chase it around and like try to hit it out of the sky, which is fine. Gives me good uh, obstacle avoidance. But yeah, overall awesome. I'm gonna add a little bit of expo to the remote, and then uh, we'll do an exit video and do a little bit more cruising, and see if it gets any smoother for me. All right, just adjusted the expo. Even though I said you don't need it, um, I like it. Per personal preference. Looks like I went down there. Um, I got it at 10% on roll and pitch and 5% on the yaw. Um, it just makes this flying a little bit smoother for me, so I don't have to be as light on the sticks. Um, still getting used to the quad, obviously. I think this is the, literally the second battery I was flying it. Um, my house isn't super huge, but as you can tell it's still plenty fun makes for nice tight quarters racing around I got a lot of dark rooms in the house so it's kinda hard to explore so I pretty much stay on the main floor I might go race up downstairs a couple of times but but yeah all in all awesome quad it flies on rails highly recommend it um, it's I mean if you're stepping up from an inductrix you'll it's a night and day difference you're gonna love this quad um, I think I'm going to try to get into the racing scene pretty soon, so this will be the one I bring to the whoop class. Um, so yeah, hopefully I get some videos of me doing that eventually, but thanks for watching guys. That's pretty much all I have on it, so happy flying. See you next time. Bye.